Hey, it's Maddie Levine for Live Trained. Joining you from my beautiful hotel room in Arizona, doing some traveling this week, but there's always some time to check out the latest news in combat sports. For the first time in two years, it is a Francis Ngannou MMA fight week. He takes on Henan Ferreira under the PFL banner in Saudi Arabia for Battle of the Giants. They have been touting this fight as whoever wins is the baddest man on the planet. Nganu, former UFC heavyweight champion, has been fighting the best of the best his entire career. But on Saturday, he says he takes on his toughest opponent yet in Henan Ferreira. Standing at six foot eight and currently on a four fight win streak, all of them by finishes. Both of these men tout a very impressive resume. But are they the baddest? It seems like the MMA community is still dead set on John Jones holding that card. But either way, this Saturday, this fight is going to bring the fireworks. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, an MMA fan favorite, is looking to come back to the UFC after calling it quits two years ago in hopes of breaking some of the company's records. For number 50, I've been sitting on my mind for a while. So I've been working with Transcend the last two years, taking TRT, a bunch of peptides. Now we've got a protocol. I now have to come off and piss clean. Fight in a few months, so watch this. While many fans and fighters showed excitement for his potential return, Dana White, not the biggest fan of it. I hate it, he said in one of his latest press conferences. Love him, hate that idea. Listen, it is very common for fighters to get that itch after having a few years off, letting their body heal, maybe going on a couple of steroids, but you retired for a reason and you retired after several losses. So I don't think Cowboy's return is really gonna come to fruition. In the early morning hours of October 12th, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship standout Mike Perry was arrested for driving under the influence. Video of his arrest emerged, showing him getting very confrontational with the police officers that he was dealing with. Couple of separate your feet. Separate your feet. Couple of separate your feet. About it. It's all right, honey. A few days later, the fighter issued a heartfelt apology to the Claremont Police Department, apologizing for his behavior and reiterating the fact that he does support police officers. This certainly comes at an unfortunate time as Perry begins to launch his new fighting organization, Dirty Boxing Championship, which is set to have its first private event next month. You can always find the latest in combat sports right on Live Trained. Live Trained is where you can go to learn anything, anywhere, anytime, and you can learn more at LiveTrained.com.